Hi everyone, it's Dawn. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Dawn and I'm a 53 year old woman here in the mature beauty community and I invite you to hit that subscribe button and stick around. So today will be a little bit of a chatty video and it'll be a really quick and easy sort of bronzy peach drugstore makeup look and I am finished as you can see but it's something that I've been doing a lot this summer and really enjoying the way that this look comes together and um, I wear like this lipstick sometimes in videos and I always get questions about what it is and um, yeah so I thought I would just show you what I do when I'm kind of in a hurry to get out the door and I do have one product that isn't a drugstore product I ordered from the Ulta 21 days of beauty cell and it came in so I'll try that for the first time as well so yeah I hope you'll stick around and let's get started I already have my foundation on to save time and today I used my favorite drugstore foundation from the summer. I picked this up actually in March when it first came out on the Makeup Revolution website and it's the IRL Filter Foundation. I've talked to you about this before in other videos and I've demonstrated myself putting it on. It's kind of like a whipped formula and it is long wearing and a slight like satin matte finish. Really pretty. It does have a glass bottle and a pump that I really like. So I have that on my skin right now, and I would say it's a medium coverage. So next, I'm going to do my eyebrows. So I'm just going to move my bangs off of them, and I'm going to be using a product that I've never tried before, and this one is from Too Faced, and it's the brow wig. In the first week of the 21 Days of Beauty sale, this was part of the sale, and I, you might recall me debating whether or not I was going to try it, and I decided to go for it. And I actually went in to the store to look at the colors because I run into a problem with a lot of eyebrow products. Most people do not have red in their eyebrows. They have more ashy tones. So like for example, Anastasia has mostly like taupey, ashy shades, and they do have an auburn now and a shade called Strawburn, which I really appreciate. But for a long time, I couldn't use a lot of the Anastasia products. I still can't use the Anastasia Brow Dip. Even the auburn doesn't have enough golden or red tones in it. And um, so I wanted to go in and look at the Too Faced Brow Wig colors to determine which color would work best for me. So the color I ended up going with, and I don't know if it will be right for me, but I picked Natural Blonde. Um, and it is a brush on hair fluffy brow gel. And it has little fibers in it to make your brows fluffy. And I thought that the blonde had like some golden tones in it. And I can either use this alone, but if it doesn't have enough like, um, like, darker tones in it. I'll just use my eyebrow pencil to kind of fill it in. But um, yeah, I'm excited to try it. So let's see how this goes. Fluffy brows are really in right now. And I really like that. I like that a more natural fluffy brow instead of those really precisely drawn on brows that we were all seeing all over the place for the past five years or so. I prefer this look. And yeah, I think the color is pretty good. It does have some golden tones in it and it just fills in my brows and it did cover up some pesky little white brows I have coming in. I'm going to put some color on my face using my Ulta 3-in-1 face palette. And this is like just a marbled bronzer, highlighter, and a blush. I've shared this with you before. This is actually my second one. I was using the first one all the time and then I dropped it and it cracked and I couldn't get it back together, but I really enjoyed it. So I picked up another one and I'm just going to pick up this bronzer with this big fluffy brush. And this is just a Morphe from Ulta Brush. I'm not really contouring. I'm just putting a little bit of color on my face to give my face some life. And I'm going to take that same bronzer on just like a fluffy shader brush that's an eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna pick it up and I'm just going to sort of like bronze my nose a little bit. I'm gonna contour it a teensy bit. And blend that out. 
and I'm taking a little bit of it and placing it up in the crease of my eye. I've been really enjoying this a lot this summer, especially if you're doing like a one and done eyeshadow look and you put something up here like your bronzer and it just makes a nice crease or transition shade for the one eyeshadow that you'll be using next. Another Morphe brush and this one's slanted and I'm just going to pick up the blush a little bit. It doesn't look like it's really pigmented but it is very pigmented so you have to be careful. It's not dusty but um, just go with like a light touch and I think I shared with you in a recent video that when I'm using something that's really pigmented I'll start out by just kind of touching the brush to both cheeks so that way you don't get a whole like glob of blush just on one side and then you're forever trying to blend it out and I just put that like right on the apples so did you guys do anything fun for the weekend it's still the weekend's still going on I'm sure many of you have Monday off and my husband does too I'm filming this on Sunday and my boys didn't have school on Friday which was really nice so they were off for they're off for four days because they have Monday off too and my daughters both came home on Friday and stayed through last night, Saturday night, and they didn't bring their significant others with them. I'm gonna take a little bit of this too and add a little bit of that pink in here too, now that I have most of it off the brush. Um, they didn't bring their significant others, which a lot of times they do. And so it was really nice because I just had my highlighter. I just had my four kids at home and my husband and it was like just our immediate family Friday evening through um, we had company on Saturday but we had a lot of time just the six of us and it's been a really long time since both of my daughters could be home at the exact same time and both of them didn't have their significant other with them so it was just a really nice time and um, yeah I don't know when that's going to happen again. So I was just soaking it all up. We went on Friday to um, Mod Pizza. Do you have a Mod Pizza by you? Um, it's kind of like, I don't know if this will help or just confuse you more. It's kind of like a Chipotle um, or one of those restaurants where you kind of go down the line, almost like a subway, but a little bit nicer than that. And you can choose your crust. I always get a cauliflower crust and they come in various sizes. And then you can either order off the menu or you can push your crust down the line and pick all your own toppings and the sauces that you want, like pesto. Do you want just olive oil? Do you want marinara, um, meat sauce? You know, they have just so many things to choose from. It's such a good restaurant. And it's, it, you know, it's, a, it's, I guess it's kind of affordable. It's better than going to like a nice um, sit down pizza restaurant. It's less expensive than that, but it's more expensive than like fast food. And it really isn't fast food. It's all like really good fresh ingredients. Okay, I'm just going to use a little bit of the Milani Eyelid Primer. And I'm just going to take a tiny bit of this and prime my eyelids. And um, my daughters and I, we just had so much fun. We have like a text thread going with my mom and um, we send each other like funny things. We, we It's always like pretty funny and lighthearted and we keep that thread going. And it's funny because I always send memes and so do my daughters. And you know, a lot of times memes are just relatable and that's what makes them funny, but my mom never gets them. So whenever we send a meme through text, we always have to go back and explain to my mom why it's funny, which in that in and of itself is funny. Okay, now I'm just going in with the Milani Gilded Nude Palette. This is one of my favorite palettes. I got so much use out of this this summer. It's really high quality and it's really beautiful and you can get so many different looks. It's a newish palette. It does have a mirror on the back that I'm, I won't show you because it'll just blind you from the light, but it has a lot of really beautiful kind of satin shades, a few matte shades, and it's got some shimmers and a couple kind of duochrome shades in here. They have a little bit of a shift to them. Um, some like kind of satin finishes. 
So um, yeah, it's a really beautiful palette. You could get a really nice kind of neutral rosy look or just like an everyday neutral look, but then there's also some really beautiful bronzy tones in here. I think it's a really great affordable palette to have in your collection. I have this one and a similar palette I have is the Morphe Gilded Desert palette, which I absolutely love too. If you like a larger palette, I've been grabbing that one so much this summer as well. So I'm gonna use this one today and I'm just gonna go in with this shade Me Time right here on a fluffy brush. So I'll show you an example of one of the memes that we like would send in our text to my mom or to all of us that my daughters and I would think is funny or even my sons and my husband for that matter. Okay, so I hope you all got why that's funny <laughs> because it's relatable. You know, you're sitting in your parking lot and you're trying to buckle your seatbelt and get your car started and back up and then someone comes up and they beep to hurry you. And um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend sitting there until one of you dies, but you almost kind of feel that way. You're kind of like, oh, okay, now I'm gonna take my time. I don't really do that kind of stuff. When I was younger, I did. I don't do that now just because it isn't, you know, why? <laughs> just, you know, it's gonna waste my time too. But also I feel like there are a lot of like unstable people in the world that that might be like the straw that breaks the camel's back. You don't wanna tick people off unnecessarily by playing games like that. But I thought the meme was funny. It reminded me, I think I've talked to you before about a movie that we watched a while back called Unhinged. Russell Crowe is in it, and it's a really good movie. It's a little bit scary. It's a little bit, you know, it's not the best movie I've ever seen, but my sons like it, my daughters like it, and um, I thought it was a really good movie. So you might wanna check that out, but it kind of like talks about what I'm talking about, how people are like um, stressed out more than ever, and we probably shouldn't do things to antagonize others. But um, anyways, we had to explain to my mom why that's funny. Okay, now I just have a super fluffy brush. I hope it's not gonna be too fluffy. And I can't read the names without my glasses, but I'm taking this bronze shade right here. This shade I've probably used the most in this palette than like any other shade. It's so pretty. And I'm gonna pick it up with my fluffy brush. And um, these don't have a lot of kick up either. I did tap it a little bit, but not a lot came off. And I'm just gonna go in the outer corner and blend, 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 just like the outside, kind of smoke out the outside with that bronzy shade. And I'm not going to take it past like my pupil on the inside. So anyways, I had to explain to my mom why that's funny. You know, that, that's just relatable, mom, you know? <laughs> because her response was, did that just happen to you? <laughs> and I'm like, no, it happens to me lots of times. It didn't just happen to me, but I'm sure it's happened to you too, mom. So anyway, then she laughs and gets it. And we tease her because she doesn't really understand how memes work. You know, they're just relatable and that's what makes them funny. I don't mean to make fun of her. My mom has like the best sense of humor and, um, she really loves to laugh and make jokes and things like that. But you know, it's like a different kind of humor nowadays. It's like more just like relatable humor. It's not like, um, I don't know, the kind of humor my mom's used to. But anyways, um, we had a conversation then about how we have these battles going on all the time in our lives that we're the only one battling. Like we think it's like a bigger thing. We're in a battle with someone or something, but really it's kind of just us having a battle. So I blended that bronze color and I think it's so pretty, very light and natural. And this would be a great look to, like for the office or back to school or just everyday life. But I'm gonna take a denser brush like this one from the Hatton Flashy collection. It's just like sort of like a pencil brush, but I don't think it is. Anyways, that's what it looks like. And I'm picking up that same bronze tone and now it's gonna be more pigmented because I'm using a denser brush. So we always have like these little battles going on, whether it's like for your parking place or like this thing with my husband is going on. It's like a battle he's having and he loves to do the yard work. He just absolutely loves working in the yard and the yard is really beautiful. I should give you a tour of it. Everything's really lush and there's so many flowers. We have a garden that is just like giving us a bumper crop of cucumbers and things like that. We're just like really having a good year with our garden. 
but I owe it all to my husband and my kids. They all have a green thumb and I don't really, but my husband has a fountain in the front yard that he really loves and he was having a hard time getting anything to grow around the fountain because it's so wet. So my daughter, she's like an environmental sciences and plant sciences, animal sciences graduate. So she told him he needed to plant milkwood, milkweed around it because it usually grows really well around like kind of swampy areas or where there's a lot of water. Now I'm taking what's left on the brush and just brushing it on my lower lash line. And um, so she got some milkweed for him and he planted it all around his fountain and it's been growing really nicely this summer and so um that, so that was like one thing he was trying his battle was trying to get something to grow there and then finally he got the milkweed and the milkweed is growing so he's happy about that but then he got aphids on his milkweed and it's starting to eat all the leaves and stuff on his milkweed so my mom told him to get ladybugs you can order them and um they come they come in the mail um, and then you just kind of store them in the refrigerator and they go dormant when they're cold. But then once they warm up, they kind of come back. They don't really die, but they, they wake up and start doing ladybug things. They're really bad though. They smell so bad. They're like the stinky ladybugs. If they land on you, they kind of smell bad. So when they come in the mail, the mailbox smells awful. I always tell my husband, he's ordered like three batches already and I open the mailbox and I'm like, oh my gosh, the ladybugs are here. It's, you know, you just know because you can smell them all. Ugh. Anyway, <laughs> I like ladybugs. I just don't like stinky bugs. Okay, without any eyeliner or eyeshadow, let me just bring you in because I feel like this palette is such great quality. It's like, um, I don't know, almost like Charlotte Tilbury where it's um, opaque, but, but not totally. You can still see some sheer, it's sheerness through the opaqueness. <laughs> that makes no sense. It's sheer, but not so sheer that you can see through it, I guess would be the way to explain, but it's very creamy. And even though their powders are not, there's not a lot of kick up and they blend so beautifully. So let me bring you in to show you. That's without any eyeliner or mascara, just the eyeshadow. Now I just have a Maybelline Tattoo Studio eyeliner and I'm just going to line the inside of my waterline here. And I know some people don't like watching that, so I'll do that really quickly off camera. Okay, and now I'm just gonna smudge a little bit right in the outer corner and kind of create a teensy little wing here. Just to add some definition there and make everything look a little more cohesive. Okay, so anyways, the um, aphids were eating my husband's milkweed, and then he got the ladybugs, and we put the ladybugs out, and that started to take care of the aphid problem. So that was like one battle that he kind of won <laughs> with the aphids. It's an ongoing battle, actually. And I'm just going to use the Maybelline Sky High. This is my favorite drugstore mascara. I've already gone through several tubes of this, so it's a repurchase. It is Maybelline. I really love Maybelline's mascaras, and I really love L'Oreal mascaras too, for the most part. I like the Lash Paradise and the Air Volume from L'Oreal, but neither of them are cruelty-free. I would really like to find a mascara that from the drugstore that I like as much as these, but that is cruelty-free. So anyways, um, we went out and we were looking at the milkweed growing all around my husband's fountain, and we noticed that a monarch butterfly had landed on the milkweed and laid an egg because we had all these caterpillars all over the milkweed. So we were all happy and going, oh my gosh, we've got like this great little ecosystem going here now. And my husband is feeling like, okay, I won that battle. And he was going to move on to the chipmunks that are burrowing under our front porch. But um, then we went out later that same day to look at the caterpillars and they were all gone. And when we looked at them earlier, my husband's like, I wonder if the birds are gonna eat them. And we think that's what happened, like the birds, cause the birds always bathe in the fountain and things like that. And I think they got them. We had like five or six little caterpillars and yeah, now they're all gone. I'll have to check and see if we have any new ones. But um, anyway, kind of a bummer. Or it's just the circle of life. Things are going the way they should be. The birds are supposed to eat these things. So it's just nature taking its course. 
but it reminded me of a couple of like battles we've had in the past with woodpeckers pecking on our house and um, carpenter bees kind of like burrowing into our deck and things like that. Like all these little battles that you have going on that get you so excited when you win one of them. And um, it's just life. So we were all just talking about these battles that we're in all the time with something. And um, it reminded me of one of my favorite Christmas movies, Christmas with the Cranks. And the mom was trying to get the last ham for Christmas. And it was like this whole grocery store thing of her trying to get the last ham. And it's like always something that you're battling with, but it's not necessarily another person. And um, it's kind of funny when you tell the stories to other people, everyone's got some sort of battle going on. If you've got something like that going on, let me know down in the comments. You know, you can just kind of paraphrase whatever it is. But I always laugh when people have these stories like that, like they're on a mission to win this. And then, you know, they eventually usually do, or they accept whatever it is. Okay, so I have a few favorite lipsticks that I've shared with you many times before, but whenever I wear them, somebody always asks me what I'm wearing on my lips, whether it's a video, the last video I did, my second week of the Ulta sale, I had a lipstick on and several people reached out to me to ask me what it was. And I was so happy to tell them that it is such an inexpensive and accessible lipstick. Um, it's easy to find on Amazon mainly or at Walmart. And it's like $6 and they're from CoverGirl. And they're just these little cheapies and I have three of them and I love them all. I'll show you the one that everybody was asking me about in my last video and that's the one I'll put on today. And this is called Bronzed Peach 015. And it looks like that. And it's kind of sheer with a little bit of shimmer to it. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on. You don't even need to use a lip liner. It's really comfortable and it's creamy, but it's not so creamy that like gets in your lines or anything like that. I don't typically wear an eyeliner because this is shimmery and um, sheer. And I feel like sometimes when I put an eyeliner or a lip liner, I'm sorry, I keep saying eyeliner, lip liner, that it um, changes the way it looks. So I really like these just by themselves, but they also make really great toppers over like another lipstick that's a matte or if you do just want to wear a lip liner and place it all over your lips for your all over color and then add this to the top really pretty um so this is 015 bronzed peach and then this is actually the first one i got that i really fell in love with and it's 010 and it's called sugared almond and I'll put this one here and it's basically exactly the same, but it's more pinky or mauvey toned. Look how pretty that is. And the same thing over a lip liner or over um, a different lipstick that's a matte formula. And then this one is the least of my favorites. I think it's, I can't see the number 415. I'll link it to you. This one's just a really light, like ballerina pink and it's very frosty. And this one I use to top other products. I don't wear this one on its own. Some of you probably can, but I don't have the skin tone to like carry that off. It's almost like wearing some nudes for me. I just, they don't look good on me, but I do enjoy that one over other products. So that's the lipstick. And then just lastly, wrapping up the the battles that we have going on. It's like after um, something like that, after you win one, there's always something else. And the last thing I forgot is dusting a little bit of setting powder, which is the e.l.f. Halo Glow, which I discovered this summer too, and it was a summertime favorite for sure. I reach for this more than I reach for any other powder right now. And I have a lot of like, you know, I have an hourglass powder, I have a Tatcha powder. Those are in the minis. I don't think that this is necessarily better than those, but the ones that I have, I'd rather use those when I want like perfect makeup for a night out or I, I'm really going somewhere I want my makeup to look perfect. Not that this wouldn't, but I save those so I won't go through them as quickly. And this gives me basically the same exact look and you know, a fraction, just like pennies on the dollar. So anyway, this is a big time favorite for the summer. Try it if you have finished makeup look. Super easy 
10 minutes out the door, honestly. If I weren't chatting, I could get this done so fast. That is why I decided to make it a chatty video because I can do this look so quickly and with my eyes closed pretty much. So I thought that I could make it a chatty video and just put on my makeup without thinking too much. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I was kind of all over the place, but I had some funny conversations with my family this weekend and I thought I would take it over to my channel and have a similar conversation here with you. And yeah, let me know down in the comment section if you have like any kind of um, battles going on with any chipmunks in your yard or neighborhood kids or woodpeckers pecking at your house or birds eating your caterpillars. Um, you know, another one is a hummingbird that used to always come to our house. He didn't come this summer, so we were doing all these different things to lure him. We finally figured it out. But I was like, yes, victory. We finally got our hummingbird. So yeah, you'll have to let me know if you have any of these kinds of things going on. They're kind of fun to talk about with other people. They always make funny stories. So I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day. Thank you for spending some time with me and watch for my monthly favorites video. I'll be filming that one next. See you later.